right as we were getting out, waiting for the van to show up, we were swimming in the water. Somebody got stung by a jellyfish. Luis. 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 Justin. Lindsay. Landon. Ava. Turin. Ashton. Ashton. La grande familia. Big family. Si. Thank you. Alright, you guys, we are here at beautiful Los Cabos on our way to do a kayak snorkeling tour here with High Tide Los Cabos. We've got ourselves three kayaks. We're headed to the arches. Now they say that we have to paddle about a mile and they said that Ava has to paddle it all by herself. Not really. So we're paddling about a mile to the arch. We're gonna hang out there for a bit, head over to Pelican Rock afterwards, do some snorkeling, go to Lover's Beach. Maybe Lindsay and I can make out. What? <laughs> so we have not cacked in a while. As you guys know, we generally are on some sort of boat, wake surfing, wakeboarding, water skiing. Garage that never get but we should never use them. However, today we're gonna put our kayaking skills to a test. It's gonna be Landon and I, Mama Ava, <laughs> and and travel buddy, and turn and Ashton back there. Our fearless guides here, Luis and Ignacio. They're gonna take us safely to the arch, and they say that we're gonna see killer whales and sharks. For sure, orcas. Orcas. <laughs> Guys, who's ready to go see some fishes? Lana, are you ready? Yeah. I'm this is your first time snorkeling. Now, uh, full disclosure, Lana is a little bit nervous here because um, he doesn't want salt water to get into his eyes. However, this is a very salty ocean, from what I'm told, but it's very safe. Though. We don't anticipate any type of crazy creatures, even though I hope we do see some. Here will be our vessels for today. getting ready to take off on our kayaking adventure. Ava, how excited are we? A hundred. A hundred! Oh, girls! This is the girl kayak. We're for sure the coolest. Over here we got Dad and Lando. Over here we've got Turin and Ash. Woo! Look at that team. All right, you guys, we are out here on the kayaks, loaded up kayak number one, kayak number two over here, kayak number three getting in the water, is in the water. Lana, what's up, bro? Hi. You ready? Yeah. Hey, you two ready over there? Kayak number four is going to be Luis. Hey, Eve, are you paddling? Come right in the middle, Lynn. On your mark. Get set. Hi, Eva. Hi. Eva! So an entire group of dolphins just swam by right over here next to us. There must have been at least 15 of them. Just You can see their fins. They're swimming next to a boat. I missed it with my drone. I will try to catch the next one. Woo woo, guys. We just flew the drone through the arch. Matt, we need to cut to that footage because Luis here says that uh, he thought I was a professional drone pilot. We'll let you guys decide. All right, you guys, we have made it to the infamous arch here in Cabo. You can see it right there behind us. Lando, we paddled all the way, buddy. We made it with the whole crew. There you go. So, did you see those dolphins? Yeah. All right, we are at the famous Pelican Rock. As you can tell by the pelicans chilling over here. Karen's got his flip flops on. Guys, this is quite the destination, as you can tell. We've got ourselves 
at least a dozen boats out here. Yeah, Everyone going to see the arch over there. We passed Lover's Beach on the way. This is pure paradise. Ava is feeling a little nervous. This is really the first time I can think of that she's swimming out into the ocean beyond just the beachy waves. I think she's feeling a little nervous about the scuba diving and all the fish and everything that's under the water. So I put my flippers away and we're going to practice here a little bit in the shallow water until she gets comfortable and then I think I think we'll be able to go out a little bit deeper here. Jack, Jack. Did you see any fishes? Would you believe how clear the water was? Yeah, you were so brave. Can you give a high five? Our tour has come to almost an end. You guys are in Cabo. You have to check out High Tide Los Cabos. We had an absolute blast with Luis today. He's an incredible guide. So much fun. Next, we kayak back and chill. Goodbye, Pelican Rock. We've arrived at lunch. We're going to a place called WTF Burger. Yes, that is the name, WTF Burger. You know, we wanted to be somewhere by the water, so we're actually at the Los Cabos Marina. We want to actually say something that happened on the snorkeling tour right as we were getting out, waiting for the van to show up. We were swimming in the water. Somebody got stung by a jellyfish. He handled it like an absolute boss. He's like, ow, dad, this stings. He's like, ow, 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 ow. He didn't cry, didn't do anything. He just said ow a couple times. And we're like, hey, bud, it's, you know, it's okay. Let's see what it is. Sure enough, a little jellyfish got um, actually kind of in his pants a little bit. Stung him right on the bottom. We got jellyfish staying on our butt. I actually think I got stung a little bit by jellyfish. Um, I don't know exactly where. I think it's on a similar, like on my leg or whatever. It stings a little bit, doesn't it? At first you think maybe it's a saltwater sting in a wound, but I don't have a wound there. Anyway. It just got all red and kind of bumpy. And other than that, it was fine, but. Well, actually, uh, they say actually the best way to treat a jellyfish thing is to pee on it. Yeah, I know. Because it gets it wet and hot. Sanitizes so. it. You're gonna have to pee on it. Anyway, so we were at lunch, gonna eat some food, gonna get out of the sun for a minute, get some hydration, and then the rest of the day is a little TBD at the moment. We kind of are all sunned out because of the paddling and stuff, but we got Yeah, our muscles are tired, our bellies are empty, so we're excited to sit and just chill for a minute, aren't we? Yeah. Ashley just found himself a sick pair of Oakley pitties. They've been talking about pitties all trip, huh, Ava? Yep. We finally got ourselves some pitties. We just bought them off of a guy here, right as we're eating at eating lunch for fifteen dollars. Not bad, right? Mission accomplished. Yeah.
Uh, I think it's safe to say our bellies are full. Man, is your belly full? Yes, it is. Yes. Ava, is your belly full? Yeah. Yeah, mom, is your belly full? Woo! I think our good. bellies are full. Kids we are were, tired. We were so tired and hungry after that amazing snorkel tour. And now we're ready for a nap. <laughs> All right, we have officially made it back to the beautiful JW Marriott. And I'm thinking we're just gonna chill by the pool, relax for a minute. We just honestly had one of the best burgers I have had actually in a long time. Very, very delicious burger. Our bellies are full. I think now it's just kind of relaxed, chill time. We were gonna have some jet skis today, but it got a little bit hectic. I think people got a little bit tired. And so we just opted to come back, chill for a bit. We got some other flex days, we can go do that. But now it's just pool time. All right, you guys, we are off to dinner. Back in the city again after what honestly just an incredible day this was morning. Amazing. I think we ran out of energy a little bit sooner than we had anticipated. We were so tired. We had to take a little bit of a break in the middle of the day. But I realized this morning that was really the first time our kids had ever seen such blue teal, well, such teal ocean water. They've never so, really been in anything like that. Well, here's the honest truth. I didn't really realize that this until afterwards. This was the first time I think they've ever been snorkeling. It is. Yeah, they've been in the California ocean and they've been in the Florida ocean, but really just kind of playing on the beach. Yeah, yeah, we didn't, we didn't yeah. go snorkeling in Florida, did we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the no, first time they had to put a snorkel. Because when we were there, the weather was, I think it was the hurricane weather that was stirring up the ocean, yeah. so it wasn't clear and you couldn't see anything, so we didn't end up snorkeling. We did discover, though, that Bennett had a little hard time like biting down on it and breathing through it. The mask was fogging up. Little Ava was a little nervous. So we actually have those full face snorkels that we're going to bring tomorrow on an event, which we think will be a ton of fun for Ava and Landon specifically, because at least this way they don't have to worry, worry about putting anything in their mouth. They just put a face on, mask on, and just swim. I think it's going to be an adjustment for Ava. It was just a lot at once. The ocean, the creatures, the salt water, and her eyes. So I'm hoping since we're going to go snorkeling a few more times before this trip is over that she'll like it a little bit more before the end. She will. As soon as she sees a little fishy, she'll be ecstatic. I also have to talk a little bit about Luis though because he so was awesome. the most incredible tour guide ever. He was. He went hilarious. above and beyond. He took Landon on his paddleboard without anybody saying anything and tried to help him stand up and paddleboard. It was one of those like cheery moments for me again where I just thought, just a sweet tender guy. Such, such a nice sweet guy. tender guy. And how sweet for Landon to have, you know, feel like he's on this paddleboard <laughs> until they crashed and that was hilarious. So I think we mentioned this, but the kids tend to find friends. So we have a new friend here from Texas. Uh, she's hanging out with us. We actually have her family join us as well this evening for dinner. So it should be kind of fun. We're in a little French bakery that was recommended to- By one of you. On Instagram. Yeah. It looks amazing. Very excited about it. Speaking of, if you're not following us on Instagram, head on over there to Instagram to check us out. Uh, live stories, you gotta check those out. But we're going to a place called French Riviere. Should be pretty good. Good time. 